Hi beautifuls, welcome to Libra Light Readings. It is now Wednesday and we are going to break it in with new love and somebody that you're already talking to. I saw a card here that I had in shuffle, so I'm just going to leave it out of the deck. I just kind of like was checking my cards. Welcome back. This is new love. So the splits are going to be the current feelings. I am going to do a hand shuffle here for the new person. You are already talking to them if you are watching this video. This is of interest. This will be talking about their feelings toward you. We have one flip, solitude. They're viewing you in the hermit, okay? This is equative to the hermit card, but you're happy in your solitude. You are reaching a place of contentedness when you see this card. So they view you as a solitary person, okay? If this is already ringing true, next flip. Can we see what's up next? And top of the deck, we are going with diligence. Very, very focused. Uh, at this time in your life, you might want something in specific Libras or you're looking for a particular relationship goal to be had. We see a lot of birds here in flight, so there could be current messages between you two. Uh, texting, there's opportunities as well with the grasslands below the bird. It's almost like farming land there. And uh, there could be, this is indicative of travel as well, birds are. Okay, and I'm just curious. I wanted to see what that tarot card was. Temperance, they could be Sag. I have been picking up Sages lately in the videos for new love, and we're going to get a couple more cards out here. One slipped. I'm going to turn that over with you guys. Their last feeling. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Just flew right out of my hand. Going forward. Okay, we're going to clarify this with a tarot card. But Libra, somebody sees that you desperately are moving on in your life to something. It's almost like the feeling I'm getting is gracious gratitude looking at it with open new fresh eyes so your lenses are clean uh, basically like i'm getting glasses that are going doo, 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 doo. <laughs> um so we have going forward i feel like it's a little bit of like the star energy there's prosperous nine of pentacles as well going forward with maybe some plans that you have in mind so for new love they know that you're starting off on a journey where it's a bit scary and you're treading on new ground solitude diligence going forward the in common themes of the card is lots of greens lots of yellows uh, you might want to look up those colors in terms of spirituality today i do i look up color quotes the secret hidden feeling courage that it's taken time for you to have look at those waves crashing a lot of courage to go into your new destination if you don't have a new face and you're just watching for curiosity today like let's say you clicked on the video you just want to see the feelings somebody views you as strong very courageous in your efforts you keep it going like there's something about you have the fervor and the movement um that is happening under today's energy which is really beautiful my favorite card is diligence and you guys can share which ones were your favorite or if this person even matches up in your sentient feeling today so for new person what's their communication style what is their communication style welcome back to the channels to libras beautiful libras one flip. Their communication style right now is they feel left out in the cold, okay? They don't have a lot of information about you, but they're trying. If some of you are talking to someone in a pen pal ship, or both of you are emailing back and forth, and it is long distance. What's funny about that too is I had another oracle deck here, and the page of swords was at the bottom of the deck. Queen of Cups is after that, but they could feel like there's a disconnect at this current time or during this week between the two of you where they're not getting like, I'm picking up, they do feel left out in the cold in some type of maybe connection to you having to deal with you feeling isolated or you hermiting, okay, with that first solitude card. Uh, what else is their communication style or what has it been in the past? Ace of Cups, they did show a lot of feeling toward you. As soon as you guys met, there was a lot of emotions. Maybe this person told you they had a crush or admiration over you. And that makes me want to put this card over here because it's energy. So we'll lay it out. Uh, what else are their feelings? Let's continue. Nine of Cups. Four of Wands. Eight of Wands. Wow, they, they do like to communicate or text with you. Or there has been communication in the recent past. This person could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo. Sagittarius. <laughs> so we have the five of cups. Somebody's feeling disappointment at this current juncture. We have a lot of fives going on. Five of pentacles, five of cups. So we'll see what's the, at the root of that. We'll kind of dive in and see what's going on with their feelings toward you. 
it looks like you are wanting to gather Libra. Some of you definitely want to make a plan to meet. Uh, there is, I feel like there is a date set for some of you who have been corresponding. It's taking you a lot of courage maybe because it's been very difficult to move on from a past person. This courage card just does not come out on a regular day. It talks about somebody really having to learn the lessons. And today, which is interesting, Venus is still in Libra, is that there is a tense of this welcoming itself in the environment. Uh, it's a readiness. It's starting to come in because Libra is a very social sign. We're also very harmonious in the way that we do things. And we'd like it to be that way most days. So if you're a very chatty Libra, I have good news for you. I feel like this is a season for you to work on your heart chakra if you haven't already. If this is a thing that's, you know, you do work on, basically. I work on the chakras every week. I try to listen to frequency music that matches it. Or I try to read a book that matches the chakra that I'm working on. However, somebody views you as already very content in the Nine of Cups. So let's check that out. A little bit more clarification won't hurt in this first one. But why is Libra so satisfied here in the Nine of Cups? I had a Page of Swords, learning new things, grasping ideas. The Page of Swords is a student at its very base. Now, when you look at modern tarot, a lot of readers are going to tell you uh, it's somebody spying, it's somebody in the bush trying to fall out and find out what you're up to. But the Page of Swords is a keen awareness. And so I think that there's interest here, a lot of curiosity to maybe even see where a friendship goes. Maybe the point of relationship hasn't begun. Um, and I see that it's just about gathering and having a good time. So some of you just might need to meet up with this person and have a coffee. Like keep it very, very simple at first. Let's look at their other offers. Let's look at their offers that are coming in. Six of Wands, Page of Pentacles, King of Wands. Oh, KOW <laughs> decided to come in. Four of Pentacles. This person could be a Capricorn or the aforementioned fire signs. Capricorn or aforementioned fire signs. The King of Wands wants things his way. He's very persistent. That's a word you could attach to the card in the future. Passionate is the King of Wands. They're very attracted to you. Some of you could be empresses as well. I'm talking to the Divine Feminines on the channel today. You might dress very impeccably or like off the shoulder things, or you like dresses with the back cut out where it reveals a, a piece of your skin there. <laughs> I don't know why I was uh, told to mention that to you because this person wants an overall victory and for things to be smoothed out in the future. A lot of their planning too could be coming toward you right now and, and almost feeling direct, but you're not ready for it. Let's clarify the solitude card. We have the Page of Swords. That was an expected card for today. Actually, what is that curiosity? Can we look at that from the King of Wands? a lot of nostalgia. You guys might be soulmates or this person feels that way, okay? I might tell you that here before they get into all their major feelings, but the Six of Cups is about a soulmate union. You could remind them of somebody from their past. They could have told you that. A lot of them learning about you is also seeing mirroring things. The Six of Cups can also be that they see that you live your life the same way. Um, I want to add something, Libras. The Six of Cups is very interesting. Uh, this could be a particular past person who also still watches you because this is a past card. It talks about things that have already happened and nostalgia. What are the signs that pop out for the Page of Swords? What are the signs? We have Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Conflict, perhaps, with this past person. There could have been a fight between the two of you or a squabble. Um, magician, they could be a Virgo or a Gemini. New person is um, almost enamored with you from the magician to the six of cups. What is that enamorment? Gemini, the lovers. Okay. Um, here they're having, having a picnic Sunday with each other, which is really cute. They're enjoying one another. I think primarily and maybe in short, this person just wants to be around your energy. I think that's what I'm being shown here is a lot of gatherings, the King of Wands, which is a very primal state of being. And also he has to arrange it a particular way, okay? There is a small offer coming in with the Page of Pentacles, which I do have on your cut today. This was the cut card. So let's see the, the page. 
okay? It's really, really small. It is not as big as an emperor. It is not an empress-like card. As you guys know, the Page of Pentacles is a small investment or it's an opportunity that is small, okay? Let's check it out. Page of Pentacles for our Libra this morning. Please, thank you. Just one, just one for new love and it is the Queen of Cups. They want to offer support, maybe even here because it tends to go with sensitivities. This person wants to offer like a helping hand is what I get or they want to be sweet to you. It came out really sweet on the table. The Queen of Cups. You might remind them of somebody, Libras, from the past. They feel very, very connected to your energy. If anything, I think this person just wants to be in your life right now as a support system or as a support. Yeah, they view you as the Empress. There goes your Libra card at the bottom of the deck. Let's just take a quick peeker before we go into your bonus that you might have come from a recent anguish or pain in the Five of Swords. Five of Swords, King of Cups. They do want to offer compassion, okay, to mend that heart of yours. That's the kind of energy and I do feel heavy support as I read. You guys are even seeing it on the other end of the screen. Okay, we're going to go into a bonus for new love. We're going to look at deeper feelings. We're going to use a different deck. And I will be back in a few short moments with you, of course.